Kapanis jumping the pass. Trying to go all the way, and she lays it up and in. Four straight points by Leilani Kapanis and reading that pass beautifully. Illinois defends her when she gets herself on the block more in the half court. Huge block. One of the first players off the bench for Illinois has seen an increase of playing time over the last little month or so. Genesis Bryant open from deep and knocks it through. Susie McConnell Serio, who has the NCAA record for men or women and women with over 1,300 assists. <laughs> no assist on that. That's an offensive rebound and put, by, put back. With the body on her, able to finish with that contact. Penn State still in that 2-3 zone as Bryant drives down the baseline. Wraps it back up top. Dolan an open look from straight away. And she rattles it home to tie it at 12. Create that space, Jada Peebles. She tore her Achilles, and she that's a career-ending and season-ending injury for her. But Dolan knocks in back-to-back -back threes, and the Illini go back up by three, 15 to 12. Horn at, horns action here for Penn State. Marisa right down the lane, and one. In the other, McKenna Marisa has all the space in the world and the help rotation. It's off the back rim, tapped out by Kapanis. Penn State has a chance now to take the lead. Marisa, open look from three, knocks it through, and Penn State goes up 17 to 15 in the first quarter. There we see McKenna. Marisa jabs inside, gets Brian on her back foot, looking for help, finds Kapanis cutting inside, and lays it off the glass. Here we see that slice action. By Going against her former school. Chesky with the switch. Cook puts up. Somehow gets a shot off and it rolls around all parts of the rim. Shot clock turned off, under 10 to go. Take away by McKenzie. McKenzie going the length of the court to lay it in and bring the game within one. Nice crossover there by Marisa. Couldn't finish against Dolan. Now the fast break the other way. Bryant ahead to McKenzie. And she'll lay it in, count the foul to go up to seven points on the game. She's got a tie for the team high with Wusu will inbound. Finds Brigham. Hand off Wusu. She'll pull from the corner and knock it through for three. And somehow Makaira Cook got it to go. Wusu steps inside the three-point line off the screen. Long rebound, McKenzie with speed. Wusu closes her off. And one again for McKenzie. And ones here. You see that passion, you see the... Cook, moving inside, and one again. Up by six, extending their lead. McKenna Marisa apparently just gets there. Bring them a feed inside. The captain is taken away by McKenzie. The fast break, McKenzie darting down the lane and lays it in with the right hand. At the midcourt logo. Drives in on Kapanis and converts for a last second bucket. Loose ball, momentarily poked free, scooped up by Hobby. Brian in rhythm three, string music. That's no good, well off the mark. Kapanis has the rebound, pushing the pace, looking ahead to Allie Campbell, all alone under the basket, and she converts. And a rebound to Cook, cross-court feed, Bryant. Murray was trying to jump it, numbers the other way, Bostic inside, lays it off the glass. Owusu driving inside, skips over to Murray, open look from deep, bullseye! from the field or the three-point line. That was halfway down and then out. Kendall Bostic through contact and one. Look at that. Brings her shoulder right into Shania Pinto. Who's Just the fifth turnover in the second half for Illinois. 13th total. They're right, their season average. Marisa, the open lane on a nice dribble move. Stolke posting up, but you know who they go to. 22 from the outside. Oh, this is going to happen quick. 
continue to read the defense on the move. And then the three in rhythm, feet set. Turnover by the Hawkeyes. The key for Michigan, too, is trying to dictate pace by slowing the game down and not letting the crowd become a huge factor. Recovered by Gabby Marshall. Here comes Clark. How will she go for history? women's college basketball. This Caitlin is Clark on a mission. The most Caitlin Clark way to get a bucket. I mean, we are talking well inside the middle of the Mediacom logo. You have a hand down when she crosses half court. Caitlin Clark has been making people pay since her freshman year. Caitlin Clark special enough, but when Hannah Stolke steps up in a massive way scoring, Iowa looks like a Final Four team. Dumped down low to Brett. Two high school teammates going against each other right there. Gabby Marshall, Layla Filia. Stokey converts. A little volley with the basketball. And uh, they have come out on fire. Caitlin Clark using her vision, arguably the most valuable part of her game. Clark trying to go for more. Yes! That's an and one opportunity to get the ball in her teammates hands in positions to score and she can also keep it for herself understands angles at a high level Caitlin Clark loves these situations she times them out sets her feet catch Cameron Williams is coming off a massive game for Michigan she was 23.3 rebounds Again! She's putting on a complete and utter show. That's the same spot she broke the record with, by the way, folks. Layup, and that's her signature. Converts on the four-point play. Michigan trying to silence the sold-out crowd at Carver Hawkeye. Hobbs buries it. She averages 32 points per game. I'm not great at math, but I use a calculator sometimes. That's four and a half games. Keep it coming. Michigan's gotten the ball inside every single possession almost. They've had it. Iowa playing zone about 15% of the time. It leads to a fast break. She's at 23. She was contested, but nonetheless, we able to get it off. Clark serving. She looked at the basket. How'd she get it down to Stolke? Somehow finding her balance. It's up. It's good. Caitlin Clark in rhythm. Here comes Michigan. Four and five for the moment. Ah! Crockett blocked and met at the rim by Kate Martin. This is about as loud as it got when Clark broke the scoring record. People love good defensive plays in Garber Hawkeye. Clark, nice cut. Kept alive by Hannah Stolke. The extra effort. Clark. Kate Martin steps into a shot. One of the legendary coaches in the Big Ten, and I love her commitment to teaching defense. Michigan consistently one of the best ball screen defenses in the conference. It's tough to go against. Marshall gets it to go. Physicality of the league, but make no mistake, she's going to have a very successful professional career. Intercepted there by Layla Filia. No numbers, takes it anyway. Hang time there. Calling for a horn set. Bobbles it, taken away by Iowa. Caitlin Clark asking for the basketball. Slices it down with the bounce pass before the buzzer. And Clark makes that look so easy. Slicing and dicing, finished by O'Grady. Caitlin Clark now has 40. Somehow got it to Kate Martin, who finishes. Clark has Woodson on her. Will step back. And goes right back to the cup. Oh! Talking about hot sauce, that's spicy. This is an NCAA tournament team. They already have a resume boosting signature win against Ohio State earlier this season. A new career high. A new Iowa women's basketball record. That it could not be more in rhythm for Caitlin Clark. Time winding down, the fans stand up.